Hey everybody, it's Greg and Richeline back here working on the solar. <laughs> this is phase three, I believe. And today we're going to install the ground wire. We're actually not going to install it. I'll show you later why in the video. But before you do anything, hit that like button. Use that Amazon to buy anything you want. It supports our channel and costs you nothing. So these little clamps, which I'll have a link to in Amazon, they come 20 to a box, need to be installed in every panel. So this one will face up like that. Okay, I just thread it in. So there's this clamp, a number 10, I believe, a little star washer behind that, and a nut. And that way it'll get a good grip. So this one will face up. And then as we go down the panel, this one's connected to the top panel. That'll face down. Bottom panel will face up. And so on down the line. This one will face down. And that way that ground wire, when I start doing it, will come all the way pretty straight. So that's a 24 foot run. It'll come all the way straight instead of going, you know, up, down, over, around, and whatnot. And eventually we'll get all the way to this board. Now this panel, I just had to put the one here facing up, but when I get that clip that's missing for this next panel to be in place, I'll drill a little hole right here on this panel that comes down so that it lines up with this board. So that wire will come like this. It'll come down to this board, or maybe I'll drill it on this side. It'll shoot over. It'll come down that post, and then eventually you can see where I went to Home Depot, and there's the end of that rod sticking right there. So that wire will go all the way down the post. It'll connect to that rod. So that grounding rod's a copper half-inch grounding rod. It's 8 or 10 feet long, and I don't remember. They're at Home Depots and Lowe's. Now, they also sell 5 8 but I didn't think I needed a 5 8 to half-inch. It was 2 bucks cheaper, so I went with that. And the wire that I got for it, when I ordered those clips off Amazon, there'll be a wire here. This is 8 gauge, it's 50 foot. It's a ground wire, so it's bare. So obviously I'll have a little left over. But what I'll probably do is, even though I don't need to, somewhere down the line, I'll, I'll screw you know one to this thing here and connect it to that one. But this is all redundant because all these solar panels are already tightened down with the clamps into those and we're connecting every solar panel but i might just put those on just because i have the wire but no i'll use the 24 foot here then you'll shoot over about four foot so that's 29 foot you'll go down eight foot or six and a half foot so i'll use what 35 foot of that wire or so so i have a little left over so don't make the mistake and only get 25 foot you know make sure to account for going up and around and down and over and whatnot all right, I just thought I would show you what these screws look like. So I went to the hardware store and got a screw that would fit through, you know, the panels over here. So the screw fit through, and then that washer is the same. I believe they're number 10s, but I'm not sure. But you can see that star washer there, that's what grips the panel. That's a quarter inch, so they're smaller than quarter inch. Luckily, that nut is bigger than the star washer, so it'll still lock in place. And one nice thing is you can see they're tightening up pretty good. So if you see that um, panel right there isn't exactly like lined up, when I tighten that screw, it'll actually pull these and tighten them a little bit together. Not that that's a big deal. So you can see how it worked there. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, also make sure that you set your drill I've got mine set to about a 15 not in the drill setting so that you don't you know waller out these screw heads not that you're ever going to take them off but you might want to tighten them up one day or do something or rewire your panels or move them who knows so just keep that in mind all right one thing nice about having that star washer up there is when you go to drill these usually it'll hold the nut you might have to stick your finger there, but see there, it just holds the nut both ways and pulls that panel down. And then let me just get that real good. I didn't want to go anymore. I couldn't get a good hold on it, but you would have heard it go click, click, click. So I have to use two hands for that. All righty. I've taken my wire here out of the package, put a little screw right there to hang it. And I stretch it all the way down to that end. Now, as I'm walking down to that end, I've changed out my screw. 
from a Phillips to a to a whatever, and I'll back off all these little. Oops, guess I didn't change it. Try it again. We'll back up all these all the way down, and then when I get to the end, I will stretch that wire tighter because you can see right now. So as I put them into into these, I'll stretch them tight. Hang on, we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Now we pulled this wire taut. I used a drill to to put these up and put on a very light pressure because I didn't want to strip these out. But it's a long-winded screw, so the drill saved a lot of time. Now I'll just use a regular screwdriver with a little bit fatter, wider blade and really crank them down good. All right, guys, I got my hole drilled through my last panel. The clamp worked just fine. You can see it pulled this up a little bit. But when I put this clamp in here, it'll even that out some. So my ground wire is now coming down to this one. This isn't actually acting as a ground. This wood's not good, but I just wanted to put it in so there wasn't any stress over here. And then I used the extra ones there, put it around that thing, pulled it snug. Another one, all the way down here, another one, which will bring me to my final rod down there that's underground. We buried it so, you know, we wouldn't be tripping over it when we go to store stuff. And then this will be the final connection. I'll cut it. This is a half inch ground rod clamp. It's made to be buried. Make sure you get the right size. If you get the 5 8 ground rod, get the 5 8 termination. So I'll make that cut, install this clamp. All right, after telling you guys not to cut it too short, I cut mine too short. You see that wire doesn't go all the way down into the ground. It's clamped onto the post okay. But I'm not a perfectionist. I'm going to leave it like that. However, just to let you know, if you did that, you're an inch or two short, you can come up here, take that screw out, take that screw out down there, take that screw out, then run your wire like this, and that gives you another six inches to play with. So I built that into a safeguard. Thanks for watching. We'll get to wiring these a little later. And in the meantime, have a great day. Hit the like and subscribe. Use that Amazon link. Thanks, guys. Bye.